I'm going to season it. I'm not going to put anything other than the salt and pepper to the meat. So I'm almost going to put it on here and forget about it for about eight to ten minutes. It's going to cook up beautifully. There's a lot of controversy surrounding veal. If it's treated well enough and you are going to eat it, give it some respect. Cook it with love and, and, and attention and, and care. Now, broad beans, they're still absolutely fantastic. And I don't think I'll peel them, meaning that I'll take the, the outer husk. I think I'll keep it on. It, it, this is still very good. Let me uh, just pop these broad beans. And I've got these fantastic spring onions. I think I might blanch these and I'll pull them out and finish all of it on the grill with the veal chop. Let's just trim the tops off this. That's lovely. I'm going to make a salsa verde, which on the continent means green sauce, or sauce green, but we flip it around the other way. My rule for salsa verde is three parsley, two mint, one basil, and then equal quantities of anchovies, capers, and mustard. I'll put a little bit of red wine vinegar in, so you've got that sharpness. So when you're, when you're chopping herbs, just very, very quickly run your knife through it. I'm putting two fingers at the tip of the blade, just up and down. And, you, and you'll be able to create this chopping motion. Just while I'm talking, I want to take these spring onions, pop them into here, just blanching in that water. I've got some lovely Spanish anchovies here, and I've got some capers that have been soaking in water. They were salty. I put those together, and this, for the salsa verde, I want to be very, very smooth. My hand is on the back of the blade here, and I'm gonna push the blade of the knife to squash these anchovies. So I'm actually trying to create an anchovy and caper paste. So it'll actually make the salsa verde creamy. This, I'm going to put straight into the fresh herbs. I've got a good dollop of Dijon mustard. And I'm going to put the controversial garlic in, raw. Only the tiniest bit, but that is going to make a difference. One final ingredient. I'm going to use a little bit of white wine vinegar just to cut through this dish. And my favorite ingredient, olive oil. Oh, don't scrimp on the olive oil. Right, let's draw this, let's get this all together now. Now, that I'm just gonna let relax. So I'm gonna pass these green vegetables off. I'm gonna show you what I mean when I take the broad beans out. Push. Okay, I'm just putting these alongside on the grill here. It's really not that complicated. And these broad beans are very hot. There's one little thing I'd like to do. Season the vegetables up. So there's a little trick with salsa verde that you can do. Let's have some on the vegetables already. That's just gonna cook for about one minute. You can tell when the meat is cooked, you just see there's the smallest tint of pink in there. And that tint on veal will be delicious. Okay, let's start to lift some of this hot vegetable off and add Veal steak, and I'll tell you what we have got here, which, don't ever lose this. Check out these rich, deep, meaty flavours. Let's have a little plateau for this salsa verde to sit on. Let's put that on the bone. That's your char-grilled veal chop, broad beans, spring onions, salsa verde.